Hello. So, um, what follows are three pieces, two for bass clarinet, one for contrabass clarinet, that make up or are part of my standards project. As the name suggests, standards, they are all somehow based on jazz standards, pieces from the um, American Songbook. And in the simplest sense, what I asked people to do, or what I asked composers to do, was take a song um, from the songbook and do fundamentally whatever they wanted to it. So the idea is not to take a jazz piece and create some kind of theme and variations, but rather see where else they feel they might go. Um, what was interesting for me from a performance perspective is that so often the way in, when, in which one would look at these kind of songs is from a performance perspective, from a, a player. Um, the player does something, improvises, um, does what they like, but it's all player based. Adding this extra element, the composer in between the song and the player creates a kind of a restriction. Um, and this is something that I wish to explore. Um, so there's a number of pieces I've been asking composers to work on these pieces or these songs and pieces connect to these songs for the last ooh, eight years or so, um, maybe 10 years. And this is an example of three of the pieces. Um, the first is by Roland de Hinden, Swiss composer. And he used um, Eric Dolphy's song Serene as a starting point. Um, his piece is titled, Roland's piece is titled Action for Jackson. Um, the Jackson in the title is Jackson Pollock. And what Roland was playing with in his concept was um, visual memory and how one may have heard a song at a certain time in a certain place and somehow this memory of this time and this place and this song is superimposed on other memories which may either be connected to the same place or have been something from the same time or um, somehow over years become connected. The exact way in which the connection happens is not important per se but there is a connection and this could happen with so many things, maybe with a soundtrack, maybe with a film, maybe with a song one hears on the radio. Um, so his idea was this superimposed memory idea. Um, second piece is by Johannes Schulhorn. It's for contrabass clarinet solo. Um, it's called Self Same Song, and it's based on a foggy day. Um, and he plays with uh, well, fog, basically. Um, the the fogginess, the rumbling quality of the contrabass clarinet, the way in which if one puts all of the notes from the um, song together, you may un end up with quite a fog. And yeah, I'll say no more, it's foggy. Um, the last piece is by Elliot Sharp. Um, it's called All the Clangs You Are. You can possibly work out the song that that's based on. Um, this is for solo bass clarinet and electronics. Um, and his idea was recording process and namely outtakes and what happens to all of those tiny little pieces that one ends up with when they are editing. Um, and then what happens if you stick all of these little edits or in fact, not the edits, but the removed pieces together, what do you end up with? And you have a kind of a mirror, in a way, of the piece, or at least a kind of um, opposing element to this finished product, the edited final product, and then you have this cutting room floor construction. Um, so, yeah, that's the third piece, Elliot Sharp's um, All the Clangs You Are. Okay. And so I'll go with these.